abstract kind of takes me into a different headspace than my usual work um, and I just have to really feel the moment. I, I paint a lot of different things, a lot of different ways, um, and, but one of my favorite ways of painting is abstract. Um, it's kind of where I feel like a lot of my roots are because that's how I started out in my painting career, um, a, little more, a little more closely tied to abstract forms and um, 
I also went, when I was in art school, I was as more closely tied to that. Also, you'll notice today I'll be painting in acrylics to start out, and at some point I'll probably switch over to oils, um, which is something you can do with, uh, with oils and acrylics. You can paint oils over acrylics, but uh, not the other way around. Um, so it's, it's fun to start out with acrylics because it's faster, um, it dries so fast, you can layer up quickly. Um, and then switch over to oils. But today I'm actually doing that because I'm getting rid of my acrylic um, stash of materials and I'm going to be switching to oil paints, which is what I originally trained in. But the other thing you'll notice is I definitely am less comfortable in oils still, um, even though that's what I originally trained in. I definitely paint in a different way uh, than I did when I was in college, just because I've spent so many years with acrylics and uh, using a fast layering process to build up the textures and colors and patterns that I like. Um, so it will be interesting to see what happens when I switch to oils. I will be painting until I think the painting is done for today. And that doesn't mean it's necessarily done, it just means that um, for the moment I can't think of anything else I want to see done with it. Um, but I can't say that uh, I'll come back to it tomorrow and not realize I want to do something else with the piece. So I hope you enjoy uh, jumping in, watching me progress as I go throughout the process today. And uh, I, hope, I hope to come away with a really cool painting.